everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Amazon challenge. We are playing niche in the pre-release. That kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. And here are our brave Amazon warrior princesses. Oh my goodness. This challenge is so fun. So right now our tribe consists of five very strong and beautiful females. We have that ear over here, the eldest of the children that Honey Wish left behind. We have Dark Honey. We have Honey Snout. Fox Blossom and Dove Leaf. And I absolutely love this tribe so, so much. And let's go ahead and continue collecting some berries right there. And there is a healing seed too over here, which is pretty nice. And let's collect these berries right over here. And I think we're out of moves. So let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to go ahead and bring. So here we are. And ooh, looks like there's some more nuts dropping. So let's go ahead and continue collecting some berries this way. And we kind of need to find some men. Um, all the men that were in our tribe kind of ran away from us. Uh, ooh, looks like there's another man over here. It might be Oakpaw. Uh, so let's go ahead and explore because uh, Bat Ear kind of wants to have some babies of her own. And it looks like it is a brand new creature that we haven't seen before. So Kero, um, cooled down, being cooled down by the water. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what Kiro is all about. He's got some short snout and he has a deformed paw, but he does have a claw, which could be useful. And he does have a water body. Hmm. So he might be kind of interesting to breed with. And he does have C and I immunity. So I think we are going to go ahead and breed with him. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we were able to get pregnant, were we? Uh, he does have a little bit of low fertility, so yep, Bat Ear was not able to get pregnant by him just yet, but maybe in the next turn. And let's go ahead and continue getting some berries right there, and getting some berries right over here. And then Dark Honey, you can come over here and search around this area, and let's go, go ahead and collect some of the foliage over this way. So let's keep an eye on Bat Ear to see what happens in the next turn. It looks like it is raining at the moment. And somebody died like over here, which is kind of scary. Uh, let's go ahead and breed with him and nope. And now we are pregnant, awesome. So Bat Ear is going to be able to have a baby of her own. So let's go ahead and pop her over here. And uh, she already has the new mutation menu, normal eyes and stripes. So there we go. And let's go ahead and have Fox Blossom collect the berries right here. And we'll have um, Honey Snout collect the berries over here as well. And then let's do a little bit of exploration with Dove Leaf um, over in this area a little bit. And we'll do the same with Dark Honey. She can help explore over here to see if we can find any more berry bushes or maybe some more men to breed with um, for our tribe. And yeah, so let's go ahead and see what type of baby Bat Ear is going to have. And we have <gasps> Twin! So we have twins. Unfortunately, they are twin boys, but having twins is still very awesome. Um, they could potentially become helpers of the tribe um, if we decide to do so. And let's go ahead and give them names that kind of match. I guess we'll, we'll give them, we'll name one Leaf um, Kit, which I know won't really make sense when he's an older, um, an elder, but you know, we're just going to continue. Um, leaf kit and we'll have this one be leaf paw. So they kind of match together um, There we go Awesome, so leaf kit and leaf paw welcome to our tribe. Unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to leave but uh, You're really cute nonetheless, and I'm excited to have some uh, You know males some twin and I'm excited that bat ear was able to have a set of twins since I absolutely adore Having twins in niche. I think it's so fun uh, when that happens. So let's go ahead and continue collecting some food for our tribe. We're getting a nice collection of food going on over here. And let's have Dark Honey do a little bit of exploration out in this area with her friend Dove Leaf uh, to see if we can find any new food sources or any men. It uh, looks like there is a berry bush over there that we missed, so we'll have to come back over here and start collecting the berries that are over in this area. All right, awesome. So look at these two. It's so cute. Oh, no, I don't think we'll be able to keep them though um, We could though we can keep up to two males uh, to help us with the tribe um, But I'm not sure um, It's best to keep them kind of as gatherers um, And they don't really have any good gathering skills. It could be kind of like our warriors, but I want our females to be our warriors, so 
Hmm, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do with these two, uh, but they're still really cute. And let's go ahead and have them pop out of the nest. There we go. And then Fox Blossom, let's continue um, having you collect some foliage out this way and see if you can collect any roots. And then Dove Leaf, be careful of the leaf pile over here, Dove Leaf. We cannot play in the leaves. Leaves attract bad things. We must attract, not attract any bad things um, to our area. We don't want anybody to know that we're kind of over here hanging out like any apes because having apes come over here would be very scary. And it looks like there is a bunny right there that just wants to get eaten. So let's go ahead and eat that bunny and collect some berries. Awesome. All right, and let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring and I love our two twins. They're so cute. Unfortunately, uh, we can't really keep them. Looks like their dad is right over here though still, so that's good to know. Let's go ahead and have them explore a little bit to see if we can find any other males that are over here. And then Bat Ear looks like you're going to pass away soon, which is very, very unfortunate since you are one of my favorite nichelings, uh, since I absolutely adore your very large ears. Uh, let's go ahead and have Honey Snout collect the berries over there. Dark honey. Let's go ahead and oh my goodness. I am so scared All right, so it looks like we were able to go ahead and hit that eat, meat eating plant, which is fortunate So we should be able to get some fruit from there But those are very very dangerous and can actually like kill our nichelings so easily So we're definitely gonna have to be on the lookout for those uh, scary looking plants in the future But for now it looks like we we're fortunate enough to be able to get one that we can actually collect some food of from so there we go we'll collect some food from there and then bat ear oh no bat ear i think you're gonna pass away soon oh no bat ear we'll have you collect some berries and then we'll move fox blossom kind of down this way a little bit so there is a man over here and then we have the two twin boys who are kind of like looking out over here to see what they can find um out in this way we are gonna have to have someone banish them pretty soon too and sir Adults, but we'll think about that in a second. All right, and we are Gonna get desperate for breeding pretty soon since some of our nichelings are gonna pass away of old age like bat ear right here Which oh no bat ear. I'm so sorry. Oh No, all right. Um, let's see. Where is that man? That man is right over here um, so Fox Blossom would probably be pretty desperate and try to breed with him and let's go ahead and move Fox Blossom back here. She's now pregnant. And let's see anything else over this area that we can kind of see. And then Dove Leaf. I don't want you guys to go too far away from each other for now. So let's go ahead and move you back this way. And we'll have you pop back over here to get some berries from this berry bush. And then Dark Honey, you can go ahead and collect some berries over here as well. And I guess since uh, Bat Ear was kind of like the leader, We'll have Dark Honey be the new alpha of this tribe um, and see what type of babies that she can have in the future if we can get her to find a man uh, to breed with. Let's go ahead and get that. Another bunny over there. Oh my goodness. Bunnies that just sit at our feet <laughs> and allow us to eat them. Very silly bunnies. Oh no, the man died over here, but at least we were able to get pregnant and have Fox Blossom be able to have a baby. So let's go ahead and put her in the nest over here. And unfortunately, it looks like our two twins are now old enough to be banished from our tribe. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch them. I'm going to change their gems, though. The males that we kick out, I'm going to change to all blue, I think, since I really like playing with the gem colors. And then the current queen, I'm going to change to all pink, I think. There we go. And then unfortunately, uh, she's going to have to banish her brothers. Uh, which I don't want to, but that is the way of the Amazon challenge. So there we go. He is now banished, and we'll have to banish this one in the next turn right now. Come over here. You are not banished. You've been banished by Queen Dark Honey, and it looks like we have another male. Oh, no. Um. All right, so another male born. He does have the claw, though, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and name him Sand Kit, since he is a very beautiful sandy color. Ew. Oh, oh no, Fox Blossom. Oh, I didn't change any mutations. All right. We'll have to remember before um, any of our females have children to make sure that we change their mutations so we get a chance to get some more 
um, mutations that we're kind of looking for for our tribe. And then Honey Snout. Oh no, Honey Snout's going to pass away soon too. <gasps> no, so sad. So let's go ahead and have you collect a bunch of food. And then I think we're going to have to breed with Leaf Kit uh, if we're able to. So I and C immunity, which Dark Honey can actually breed with him. So we might have her do that in just a second. So let's go ahead and switch today. And we can go ahead and breed with him since he's no longer part of our tribe. And we were able to get pregnant, so let's go ahead and move this way. And Fox Blossom, let's go ahead and pop out of here. And Sand Kit can pop out too. And then Dark Honey can pop in this nest to have some babies of her own. And then Fox Blossom. Uh, I might move her back over this way too to potentially hunt down some of the males. So that we can have some more babies born in our tribe since we are running a little bit low on members. We only have four members at the moment, but we have a lot of food though. So we're doing pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. And it is a precious little baby girl born with some ram horns. Oh my goodness. And she also has claw too. And let's go ahead and name her Clover Paw. I think that'll be a perfect name for her. And there we go. It's a little Clover Paw. I'm so proud of you. You're born. Uh, and let's go ahead and move Dark Honey out this way because she is on the hunt to find some more men to make some babies with. Uh, so let's go ahead and breed her again. And it doesn't look like they were able to get pregnant this turn. And then Fox Blossom would probably want a baby of her own too. So she's going to breed over her with him too. And try to make some babies. And a sand kit. So you can help out as long as you're a child. Uh, so we'll have you make the some berries. And then Dove Leaf. Uh, I guess you can move you over here to this berry bush. And let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to go ahead and bring. And it has brought the rain, which is pretty awesome. And Dark Honey probably really wants to have a baby, so she is able to have one now. And Clover Paw can go ahead and pop out of this nest over here and make room for Dark Honey to come in the nest and have her baby. And Fox Blossom is also pregnant, so she probably want to come back and have her baby as well. Let's go ahead and pop down a nest right there. And then Sand Kit, you can go ahead and help collect some berries for now. And Dove Leaf is probably like, yo, there's a bunny. So let's go ahead and get that bunny. And I think we're out of move, so let's go ahead and see. We're going to have two brand new babies born into the tribe, and hopefully they are females. And we have one female and one male, so that is pretty good. And we have another large ear daughter, which I absolutely love. I love it. So dark. So we had Honey Wish, Dark Honey. So we're going to name this one um, Honey. Uh, honey. Let's see. What would be good? Honey. Honey Kit. Honey honey Shadow. We're going to name her Honey Shadow um, and kind of keep in with that theme. So Honey Shadow could potentially become... Oh, she has Double Claw too. Yeah. She'll probably become the next queen after Dark Honey. Um, so yeah, so we'll keep that in mind. And then Sand Kit, you can go ahead and collect here. And then this male was born. We can go ahead and rename him to Maple um, Paw. There we go, little Maple Paw right there. And let's go ahead and have Fox Blossom pop out here and collect some berries. And let's have Clover Paw kind of come over here and collect that meat and then dove leaf and come down this way Ooh, another bunny and go ahead and get this bunny there we go awesome and then dark honey probably wants to have another baby so she'll come over here and breed over here with this male and see if she can have another large eared child which i absolutely love so amazing and let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring so let's have Dove leaf, collect this meat right here, and come over here and collect these berries. And then little clover paw, she's gonna learn how to collect berries over here too. Let's go ahead and collect berries from there. And let's go ahead and have fox blossom come over here and collect some of the foliage. And then it looks like sand kit is actually old enough to be kicked out of the tribe, unfortunately. So maple paw pop out of here. We'll have dark honey pop here. We'll change your rank to Omega, and you are now banished from the tribe. Oh, that is so sad. I'm sorry, little one. 
It's just the way of our people. You must go and find your own way in life. And he's ready. He's, he's going. He's going away. Alright, so it looks like Dark Honey is going to have another baby of her own. And it is a male, unfortunately. A male right here. So let's go ahead and name him to Owl Shadow. There we go. Or maybe we shouldn't name the males because I kind of get kind of sad when we kick the males out and we name them. We give them names. They're more, like, they're more precious to us, I think. So maybe I'll stop naming the males because it's so sad. Uh, but let's go over here and have the queen have another baby or at least get pregnant again. And then Honey Shadow, let's go ahead and have you. <gasps> Ooh, there is a female over here. So since she is female, we can have her join the tribe if we want to. And I think we might because she does have A and H immunity and she has toxic body, which could be really useful for our tribe. Uh, she does have deformed paw that we'll have to worry about, but I think we will invite her to join us. So let's go ahead and offer her to join our tribe and she is now a member of our Amazonian tribe. And let's see, what would be a good name to give to her? I'm trying to think, she's, like, she's this beautiful purple coloration. I absolutely love her. And I think we'll go with maybe Twisted? Since it's so like, so strange for them to see someone like this coloration. Um, so Twisted Paw. And so she does have that little like deformed paw too, unfortunately. So Twisted Paw, uh, welcome to your tribe. And there is a male over here that you could breed with. Uh, let's go ahead and switch her mutations to Good Eyesight. And I do want to encourage, let's see, what's going on over here? Uh, good eyesight, and I do want to make sure that our fertility is doing pretty good. So let's make sure we pop in at least, uh, do we want low fertility? Will that help us though, actually? Let's see, what's going on? Let me take another look at her genetics. Um, so she doesn't have infertile, so maybe we'll just leave it like that for now. And then, uh, is there anything with the paws that we can kind of work with to try to get away from that deformed paw? And it looks like we have not unlocked um, any new paws at the moment, unfortunately. Hmm. Actually, yes, we have. Yes, we have runner's leg and we have nimble fingers. So let's go ahead and go with nimble fingers to encourage um, her babies to have nimble fingers instead of that twisted paw that she has. So let's go ahead and have Twisted Paw come over here and breed with this male that's wandering around. And she can have a baby in the next turn. And then let's see what's going on over here. She's pregnant, but she's out of moves. Uh, we can have Honey Shadow move somewhere. Let's see. Let's go ahead and collect the berries that are over here for now. Uh, there we go. I don't think we'll have need help collecting these berries. Let's go ahead and have Honey Shadow maybe come over this way and wander over here and then i think we're all set for now so let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to go ahead and bring and it has brought a bear unfortunately but fortunately for us we do have some warriors in our tribe so let's go ahead and come over here and start attacking you straight away and let's see let's go ahead and have fox blossom come over here and fight two there we go and we also have Honey Shadow, who is very strong, but she's so little. Um, we'll have her start coming over this way too. And then Owl Shadow pop out of the nest. We'll have Twisted Paw pop in the nest to have her baby. And then Dark Honey, uh, we'll have you have your baby as well over here. Attempt to dig up a little bit. And then Dove Leaf, um, why don't you come over here too and attempt to help up with that. And the Bear Ina is almost dead. See, can we get you over here? You're not going to be able to get here close enough. So someone is going to take damage, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and see who it is. And it is nobody? What? Did he just die? Interesting. Okay. So I don't think anybody took damage. Nobody has bleeding or anything like that. So that's very nice. Let's go ahead and collect the food right there. And uh, I guess he did die. Okay. Well, that's good to know. And it looks like um, Twisted Paw did have a daughter of her own. 
And let's go ahead and see if the daughter inherited her twisted paw. And she did not. She inherited the nimble fingers. And it looks like Dark Honey um, had another male in the tribe. Um, so, oh, and it looks like you're a male too, actually. Oops. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to start naming the males. Um, just because I don't want to get too attached to them. Because it's kind of sad. So we're going to stop naming the males and just reserve the name for females. Uh, and then we have all these males in our tribe that we have to go ahead and release and banish once they're adults. But I'm really enjoying this uh, challenge and I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. And I'm having so much fun doing so. And I will see you guys in the next episode of the Amazon Challenge um, here in Niche. Bye guys!